Okay, here we go. Let's have a quick look at our application. When we start it up, it makes our dialog file chooser with our little message, choose an image. It filters out everything but JPEG and PNG images. And when we choose an image, we can click open and it shows our application and adds that image here at the bottom and resizes the image to a preset size. Uh, it does a bunch of other things, but watch previous tutorials to learn about everything we've done so far. Today we're going to add a button right here next to where it says clear text. We're going to add a button that says about and we'll bring up about information about your program and you. So let's hit exit on that. When you hit exit, it says you click the close button and then it exits the program. Let's go into our text editor. I'm using Vim. Use whatever text editor you're comfortable with. And I'm going to edit my text or my code. And right down here, we're going to add a button. And I'm going to start naming these buttons the way I should be naming them. So I'm going to create a, an object, a button object, and I'm going to call it about button. And that is the name of our object. It's going to be a GTK dot button. And it's going to be labeled about. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to connect it to a function. So we're going to take our about button and connect it to a function when it is clicked. And we're going to connect it to a function called about win, which we're about to create. But first, we've created our object, we've connected it. Let's make it visible. We're going to add it to our horizontal box here with the rest of our buttons. <clears throat> so we're going to say self dot box one pack start self dot button I'm sorry it's about button so we've created it and we've connected it and we've made it visible we've packaged it now let's make the function that it's going to create or run so whoops. <clears throat> so we're going to define a function we're going to call it about win and we're going to put self and widget in here. Oh. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to create a dialog window. And there's a bunch of preset type of dialog windows. As you already seen, we've done a file uh, choosing dialog box. And this one we're going to create in an about file uh, dialog box. So we're going to create an object. We're going to call it about, but you can call it whatever you want pretty much. And it's going to be a GTK about dialog. That's what type it's going to be. Remember, it's case sensitive, so capital A and capital D in there. And then we're going to take our about object and we're going to set the program name. So this is the name of the program we are working on. So what we want to call it, we'll just call it my first GTK Python. Sounds good. And we'll say about, and now we're going to set the version number. Set version. We'll say it's version 0 0.1. Next, we're going to set the copyright. <clears throat> we're going to say about dot set copyright oops and we're going to set that like so we're going to say copyright metal x 1000 you probably want to put your real name if you're really copywriting something and i always recommend uh, putting things under uh, Creative Commons license or a GPL license, depending on what it is you're working on. And um, we're going to say about dot, and now we can put comments. We're going to set comments, and we're going to tell a little bit about our application. This is my first GTK program written in Python. So we got that, and now we're going to say about, and you can set your website. So we'll set website, and in here we're going to put, I'm going to put HTTP 
www.filmsbychris.com. Okay, so we've created, we've set some settings for it, and now we're going to uh, run it. So we're going to say about.run, and then our parentheses, and then once it's done running, we want to destroy it. About.destroy. Our parentheses. Hopefully we typed everything right. Let's have a look at our program. We'll run it. We'll choose an image here. So everything's loaded. We have our about button up here that we just created. When we click it, it opens up an about dialog. And it's about my first program. That's the name of the program we put in. And it's about, it's my first GTK Python 1.0, version 1.0. This is my, the, these are the comments here. This is my first GTK program written in Python. We have your copyright information and you have your website and if they click on that it should open up in their default browser. Let's take it a step further and add a cool icon to it. So let's uh, open up Firefox here <clears throat> and I'm just going to do a search for icons. Images and we'll look, just look for something. Oh, I know. We'll just do tux icon. So here we can choose one of these images. This one's a good size JPEG. Let's choose it. We will save the image. And I'm going to save it to where we're working in the subdirectory. And I am under Python GTK. I'll just throw it in with the pics here. Save. Okay, so that's saved. So now we can get rid of all this. We can go back into our code. So you can use any image you want. Make sure it's sized appropriately would be my recommendation. And now we can add a, uh, another option here. We'll say about dot set logo it's going to be a gtk dot gdk dot picks buff new from file just as we did loading the other uh, images and we have to tell it what file it is so inside quotations whoops we're going to put it's under our pix folder and we're going it was called tux underscore logo I think I'll double check that in a second or tux icon probably JPEG let's see list pix ah that's it we'll just copy and paste that in there Doo -doo -doo. There we go. So now when we run our program, if everything is done properly, we can hit about and it adds the logo right there. So you can have a logo for your program. So uh, that's it on about dialogues. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I got more to come soon. My phone's just blowing up here. Okay. Have a great day.